Hello my beautiful people and welcome, welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, so you have the mice. This mice card has been showing up, I think, pretty much in... in in all the readings for like the past three months or more and the mice card is not a positive card it talks about loss and destruction like if you have a mice in your home okay if you have a mice in your home um it's gonna chew up everything like these mice is here in the kitchen it's chewing up the 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 apple the the bread they're in the teapots i mean it's ridiculous. The mice card could represent small losses, but if you allow it to prolong, if you allow these small losses to accumulate, you'll end up having a big loss. And many times when you have mices, you won't notice that you have mices. You won't until you, you notice the big damage. And by that time, it's already too late. Yeah, by that time, it's already too late. So none of these cards are positive. 23 is the loss. 21 is the mountain. The mountain is obstacles and blockages. Number 10 is the scythe. It's a sharp, dangerous tool. What is this about, Holy Spirit? Tell us more. Clarify the mice. Clarify the mice. Clarify the mice. Clarify the mice. I'll do this again. Clarify the mice. The snake. Ooh, the snake is a betrayer. Number 12, communication. The snake could represent lying, cheating, manipulating, stealing, withholding, uh, withholding. The snake is like the seven of swords. Lying, cheating, manipulating, withholding important information that could help someone, deceiving. And it's someone's doing this by communicating. Someone's like, number 12, and look, there's the messenger card. Number 12 is the bird. The bird is all about communication. Whenever you see birds, birds are messengers. The messenger card, number one. Someone could be misinforming. Yep, boom, number 31. Someone is misinforming. Someone is purposefully giving false information, misinformation. 31 is the light, illumination, something, something being brought to light. Who is this person? Yeah. Why are they doing it? To stall and delay you. I've literally done so many readings like this. At this point, it's getting a little bit, you know, but I'm just the messenger. When messages repeat itself like this, it means that it's not getting to the right person. It's not getting to all of the people that it's meant for. 37 is the clock. They're trying to cause, whoever is misinforming wants to cause delays. Because they feel like if they delay you, you'll run out of time and they can get what you want. So the enemy is using a tactic of misinforming. Either they're misinforming you about something or they're misinforming other people about you to cause delays. Because if enough time goes by, the enemy will be able to take what is yours. You're going to experience a loss in that case. 21 is the uh, mountain, clarified 21. Someone's trying to block you from a, from a gift. It's a gift, it's some sort of blessing here. The enemy can't block your blessings, but they can try to block you from your blessings, put the obstacles in front of you, making it difficult for you to reach or connect with this blessing. It's a, it's a gift with number nine. That's what the nine, nine card is, a gift. Clarify 21, the mountain. 20 is the park. The park is all about public places that people go. It could be outside of your house. Like, what is this? 
Is it someone turning away your visitor? It could, could it be important visitors who are trying to reach you to notify you about something? Clarify 20, the park. I think that's what it is because 39 is the dice taking chances. It could be that you've been having people trying to come and visit you. Yeah, you have messengers that have tried to reach you and connect with you. But there's a person who could be misinforming your visitors, your guests, so that these guests or visitors don't reach you, don't connect with you to tell you what it is that you need to know. I see it. It's like outside of your house. It's outside. Uh, 20 is it's an outdoor place. And then the house is where you live. You have guests coming to see you. But look, there's someone here with uh, 39, the dice. The dice is all about taking chances, taking risks. I don't know if it's someone who's like fearful. Let me see, 39. Is it someone who's like fearful or something? No, it's not someone who's fearful. There's a messenger that's coming towards you this week. It could be today or this week. Today or this week. So be on the lookout if this is your message. It looks like it could be 28. It could be a gentleman here. It could be a gentleman. This gentleman here is very wealthy, very abundant. He's connected to the fish. The fish is abundance and resources. I feel like he's coming to visit you. But something happens whenever he goes, whenever he comes to your home. Look, he's turned, he's turned away. 43. They misinform him and they send him away. I don't know what your living situation is. Like, are you living with others? Are you living in a home where you have a bunch of like staff that help that helps you like personal assistants, nannies? I don't know. But it's like you have people around you who are misinforming important guests and visitors who want to see you. You could be living in a residential building. I heard it. I heard compound. It's like a residential compound. I heard compound. Maybe that's why I'm seeing the outdoor space here. Maybe they, maybe your guests have to go through, through employees, like a front desk person, concierge, who knows, in order to get access. Those staff, there's someone there who is misinforming your guests, sending them away. Why are they doing this? 29. Why are they doing this? Someone here, okay, this is interesting. 2911, is it a woman that's doing this? Is there somebody who's trying to make you angry? Like, what is this? Because uh, 20, uh, 29 is lady number one. Number 11 is the broom and whip, which is conflict and strife. What, why? Are they, is there someone who's just trying to piss you off? Why? Who is this lady? Because I asked, why is this person doing this? Why is this person doing this? The anchor. Stability, the anchor is all about stability. Why are they doing this? Is somebody just trying to piss you off? That's what I'm trying to understand. Because 14 is the fox. The fox is all about trickery and deceit. <sighs> Holy Spirit, please bring us more clarity. Why is this happening? Like, why are they misinforming? 27. Why are they misinforming this gentleman here? Why are they misinforming this gentleman? I don't think it's going to happen anymore. I don't think it's going to happen anymore. I feel like lady number one is you whether you're man or, or female these cards represent something it's just not it's not just about gender like if you're a man or woman and you're this you're in this energy lady number one is much more calm peaceful okay much more calm lady number two is the one who's like ambitious determined she's in action mode Lady number one tends to remind me of like a queen of cups. Lady number two reminds me of a queen of wands. It just depends on like what energy you're sitting in. It looks like right now you're pretty calm and at peace. So whether you're a man or woman, that's why you're in this energy. It looks like the conflict and strife, the conflict and strife is coming from you. I think you've made yourself pretty clear that you are aware of some suspicions going on around you. So whoever was doing it, it looks like they're scared of you now. You weren't wrong though. There was, um, what is this here? 
there was a, there was someone who was planted around you to block some important information from you. Yes, they're showing up as the fox. But it looks like you kind of got 10 steps ahead and made it clear to whoever's doing this, you made it clear that you were aware. Because you're showing up as 35, the anchor, like that's strength, that's stability and security. There's something here that you've done. I don't know if you even, like you could have threatened someone or warned someone. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with bringing up concerns or inquiries. If you feel like this is your message, I would absolutely speak up and just be like, hey, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Do not do not prevent my, you know, don't block my visitors or call me first if somebody comes to see me. So for some of you, this could be at your job. It could be at your workplace. It's one of those things where like your visitors have to go through a person to get to you, to see you. And you and that's good. It could be like for security reasons. You don't just want any random person to get access to you. You don't want that. But what you can do is if it's a setting where like your visitors would have to like, I don't know, go through the front desk or something like that, you can make it very clear to your front desk staff, workers, employees. You get what I'm saying? Just make it clear to them. Hey, somebody comes and see me. You know, don't just send them up to me. You know, don't just give them access to me. Call me first and let me know before you send them away. Because there's some funny business when it comes to that. Holy, let me see here, Holy Spirit. Let me see. Yeah, you live in some sort, it could be where you live or where you work. Ten of Pentacles is like wealthy places, wealthy, affluent communities. You see the nice big building and the fancy floor to ceiling windows. You see they have an employee here, like a cleaning staff. So it could be where you live or it could be where you work. Ten of Pentacles is like a business empire. So maybe it's some sort of affluent um, establishment that you live in or you work, you work at. Okay. Why were your why were your guests being, let me see here, the moon. Why were they being sent away? Or is that is that what they're intending to do? Let me see here. What? The moon. Something that they're not seeing. Hold on. Something that they're not There's something that I'm not seeing or you're not seeing. Let me see here. The moon represents things that are hidden. The hangman is coming into an awakening. I overlooked something. Ten of Wands, a hermit. I over. What is it, Holy Spirit? Because maybe this is not being done on purpose. I'm not going to lie. Okay. You know what it is? I'm not going to lie. You must be someone, you're either very intimidating. So the people there, the people are like, let's not mess up. Because if we mess up, we're going to get in trouble. You're one of those people where if you have employees or staff working for you, you've made it very clear that like one strike and they're out. You're like a no nonsense sort of person. So I feel like this could have been done out of fear. I feel like there could have been some some sort of like um, maybe like the, a staff member or something like that just did not want to get in trouble by messing up when it comes to you. So it could have been that they were like trying to over secure you, over protect you and prevent people from connecting with you, prevent outsiders from connecting with you because they don't want to get in trouble. There's something here about you where you could be short-tempered or something like that. Hey, if you ask me, there's nothing wrong with being intimidating because if you're intimidating, people won't mess with you. <laughs> you know, people won't, people won't mess with you if you're intimidating. But um, of course, don't be rude to people. I'm not saying be rude to people, but there's nothing wrong with being strict and stern when you want something to be done right, okay? It could just be that, or maybe you're someone important and the staff is like, oh boy, if we mess up when it comes to him or her, we're gonna get in trouble. So let's just make sure to really, I don't feel like it was done. If this is your particular reading, whosoever you are, I don't feel like it was done on purpose to be malicious. I think the people there are a bit intimidated by you. They may think that you're someone of importance or maybe you are hot tempered and they're like, let's just make sure not to mess up when it comes to this woman or man. And they kind of overdid it. They overdid their job um, because they didn't want to get in trouble. But then of course they ended up getting in trouble. Who really knows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who really knows? But you did show up. 
you did show up as, uh, uh, let me see here, this fox. I know you are because look, they see you as the nine of pentacles. You could be someone of affluence. You could be someone who's very well accomplished. You could be someone where it's like, okay, you are a pretty big deal or I don't know. I feel like the enemy is trying to cause conflict and confusion around you to block this. And if you're not careful and you let everything to get you out of character and it's just going to make the situation worse. You're just going to make the people even more intimidated by you is what I'm trying to say. Clarify the fox. Eight of wands. Clarify the fox. Clarify the fox. Four of swords. You see, somebody said something. Somebody. Somebody said something. The eight of wands is communication. The fox is a deceiver. I think that there was someone who was planted around you, like one or two people. Not not everybody around you is conspiring. When it comes, look, the sun, thank you, Holy Spirit. When it comes to this particular situation, I see one to two people who are conspiring. Their job is to block something here from you to block communications from you you see but you spoke up or you inquired about it or you showed your suspicions about it and now they're worried with the four of swords they're contemplating doing it again they're worried because they know that you're going to be right knight of swords i see why they think you're intimidating because i feel like they did it I feel like they did it before and you raised concerns. You may have even confronted them and boy, you did a pretty good job because these people are scared. The Knight of Swords is someone who's aggressive and military-like. They are, they know that you are aware. They know you're suspicious of something and now they are afraid to do it because if they do it again, you're going to take some serious actions towards them. Listen to your gut. But also realize I literally see one to two people who have been planted around you to block you from some important communication. Holy Spirit, please give us confirmation of that. The devil is two people. Is two people. Is two people. They were influenced to doing it. Four of Cups and the Lovers. They were influenced to do it. I feel like right now they're so scared. They're like, oh my gosh, if I do it again, I'm going to get caught. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, yeah, King of Swords. They're scared to do it. They're scared because look, they may even know that other people know that they did it. There's some shame here and some guilt. They... They know better than to work against you. They did it the first time, but now they want to like... It's a combination of fear, intimidation, and shame, okay? Because you know, they know that you know that they worked against you, the devil. So now they want to kind of be on their best behavior. Like they want to be on your side to kind of ease the, to ease the shame, you know, to ease the shame of it all. Yeah, to ease the shame. This person could have even been, look, they could have been ridiculed for what they did. Six of Cups. They want to try to reconcile. They know that there's judgment on them. Yeah. Oh, you see, this is what you do. Like, I feel like you handled it the right way because... If, if someone's working against you and, you and you know and you don't say anything, they'll feel like you don't know and they'll keep on doing it. Even if it's a situation where you feel like someone's working against you, but you don't have concrete proof. You don't have to go around confronting people in a rude way. You don't have to, you don't have to make allegations, right? Because allegations are like accusations that don't have any proof. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm not telling you to go around accusing people of things that you don't have concrete proof about. What I'm saying is you can make it a concern. You can inquire about it. You can express your concerns, you know. 
um, you can inquire, like, you know, how, did you send someone away who came to see? There's a way that you can make an inquiry about a suspicion of yours without making it an allegation where you're accusing people without proof. Okay, so just kind of make it look like it's something that you're concerned about or it's just some inquiries that you want to make so that when the person who's doing it, when they know that you you have suspicions about it or you've, you've brought up some concerns pertaining to this, they'll be like, oh crap, he knows or she knows. You know, this individual is so uncomfortable. Like whoever this person is that did that, whoever the person is that, that did this, they are so withdrawn. They're so withdrawn from everyone. They feel ashamed. Like they don't even want to show their face. You'll know who this person is because I feel like they've been keeping to themselves more than they usually do. Honestly, they just kind of want to hide. They just kind of want to hide. They're not as talkative, you know, they're not as social as they used to be. They've just sort of retreated and it's the shame. It's the guilt. Even if you didn't pin it on them, you did it in a way where you made it clear, I know what you're doing. They know that there's judgment. Oh my God. When I, when I get into this person's energy, it's like they want to burst. They want to burst. They are uncomfortable and they're embarrassed. Wow. That's how you handle people. Look, the Ace of Swords, because the truth is out. The Ace of Swords is the truth and clarity. Yeah, truth and clarity that with the Five of Wands, they were conspiring, conspiring against you. Yeah. And it could have even been that, <laughs> it could have even been that they're, they were ridiculed. I feel like they were ridiculed. They could have been even disciplined for what they did. Nine of Swords. There's nothing wrong with raising concerns about something. It's not like you're accusing someone, but you raise concerns and that will, that will let the person who is doing it know that, oh crap, I have to stop doing it, you know? Um, something's coming towards you. 42 is the compass, guidance and directions. It's some sort of, so the letter could represent, of course, a message, but it could represent an actual letter, like something in a mail, an envelope. It could be a document of some sort. I do see the person who's coming towards you, gentleman number one. Somebody, this is somebody who could be very, very calm, very sweet, very kind. Let's look at number 10. Yeah, they're coming towards you. Number three. Number three is the, the, the ship, which is all about travels. Clarify number 10, the sky. 44, clarify number 10, the sky. Magnifying glass, so you're seeing something closer. Number five is the tree. Tree is health and longevity. So it's a positive card, but 25, 25 is the ring, loyalty and commitments. It could talk about engagements, proposals, could talk about contracts, contractual agreements, joint ventures. Number 10, the scythe, a sharp, dangerous tool. It also reminds me of the Ace of Swords which is all about um, uh, communication, truth and clarity, confirmation. Uh, Ace of Swords could also talk about the start of a new project. Hmm. Number 10, Scythe, number 10, Scythe.
yeah number 12 is the messenger it's the owl it's a um, it's another bird card here there are two birds this one here is wise communication because it's an owl so the communication that you're about to receive it comes with wisdom and guidance i think you're about to receive some really good information here number 30 is the lilies peace and serenity yeah you don't have to worry anymore you don't have to worry anymore because whoever was trying to conspire against you they are aware they are aware that you know so that's why the coffin card came out it's a death it's an ending there's no more conflict and strife like the whip or broom there's no more conflict or strife there is though there is though with the lilies peace and serenity now and really you were able to clear out these obstacles just by speaking up Seventeen is the stork. Seventeen is the stork. It's all about elevations, promotions and elevations. Twenty-six is the book. Wow. The book is, I always call it the book of knowledge. Wow. Hmm. I feel like the book of knowledge, it's really representing you. I feel like you carry great knowledge and great spiritual insight. You know things that you, you know things that are, that are in the dark. Like you're one of those people where you can sense things with your spiritual gifts. You can pick up on things that are done in the dark. And that's what's gonna help you to overcome these difficulties. Because each time the enemy tries to do something behind your back or in the dark, you find out about it spiritually. And then you can do something about it. Number two is the clover. 28. Clover is luck and happiness. 24 is the stork. Or is the heart. <laughs> It's all about harmony and unions. What is this? Hold on. Coffin. Poverty. There's a man here. Gentleman number two, there's a man here. Hmm, bad health. Let me see, is this like another story? This man here, adjudication. This man here, community. Um, concern. This is a man who could be well known in the community. Judication reminds me of the Howard font, like someone who's powerful and influential. He's experiencing an ending. He has taken a loss, poverty. I think he could be the one who's been conspiring. I feel like things aren't going very well for him financially because I see bad health. As much as he is powerful and influential, I feel like uh, he is, you know, he's experiencing what we would call a fall from grace. And let me see here, change. Yeah, it's almost like he's losing something. He's losing something, but you're gaining what he's losing. How do I explain that? He's losing something and whatever he's losing, it's going to you, mature woman, the empress. 
Hmm. And maybe that's what it is. Like a like a sore a sore loser, you know, not wanting to see someone have something good because you're not going to, you know, because they're not going to get it. Because change is here. Whatever he's losing, it looks like you're stepping in and you're getting it. Huh. Yeah, courtship is here, coming together. Courtship. It's almost like out, out with the old and with the new, courtship and gift. Out with the old, in with the new. It's almost like he feels like you're taking his place. Courtship gift. Yeah, it could be a job opportunity, occupation. It could be a job opportunity. That's why he's upset. Yeah, that's what's coming towards you next. It's some sort of career career finance opportunity. And so there's like a personal, it could be like a personal vendetta against you. Like he's trying to, like he's trying to, what is it? make things very difficult like he wants you to suffer i'm getting an image of the the cross the cross it's a, it's a card in the gilded reverie deck it's all about pain agony and grief he wants you to suffer it has to be some sort of vendetta against you that's so interesting yeah that's what it is message of concern like this person hates you main male so it's a man for, for many of you it's a male that's doing this who has it out against you it's like he's trying to punish you distant horizons i think this man could be a little bit delusional i think he's looking for a scapegoat almost like he wants to use you as his punching bag yeah thief he wants you to take he wants you to take a loss he wants you to take a loss wealthy man but yes you do have someone coming towards you let me see here that gentleman number one yeah it's somebody who i feel wants to partner up with you um it's this partnership it's going to be a wealthy man and privileged lady they're both partners by by the way they're suitors uh number 12 is the privileged lady number 13 is the wealthy man yeah Whatever this man missed out on, you're getting it. That's why he has something against you. So he's experiencing a loss. You're, you're taking a gain. Whatever was his is now yours. So I see why he's mad. You have some important communication coming towards you. So in the meantime, all you can do is, is pray. Pray that this door will open. Pray that these obstacles will be removed, okay? So that you can receive your blessings rightfully so. 
I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.